Have you noticed how home batteries like the Tesla Powerwall seem to be shifting from niche tech to a mainstream conversation? What's driving this trend towards energy storage at home, and is Tesla's popular Powerwall 3 the right fit for your energy goals? Hello everyone, and welcome. Today we're taking a comprehensive look at the Tesla Powerwall 3. We'll cover what it is, how it works, the costs and potential savings involved, the pros and cons, and who might benefit most from adding one to their home. Let's get started. So, beyond the hype, what actually is the Powerwall 3? Let's break down the basics. At its core, the Powerwall 3 is a rechargeable lithium-ion home battery system designed to store electrical energy. Think of it as an energy savings account for your house. You store power when it's cheap or abundant, like from solar panels during the day, and use it later when needed. Each unit packs 13.5 kilowatt hours of usable energy capacity. One of its key features is the integrated solar inverter, making it an efficient all-in-one solution if you're installing new solar panels along with the battery. We actually dive deeper into this integrated tech in our video on the Tesla solar inverter. Check that out for more details. It also uses lithium iron phosphate, LFP chemistry, known for safety and durability and comes with a standard 10-year warranty. Now keep in mind that exact technical specs or available configurations might be updated by Tesla or vary slightly by region, so always check their latest official information. Knowing what the Tesla Powerwall 3 is is one thing, but how does it actually function day to day and crucially during an outage? It's pretty smart. During the day, if you have solar panels, the Powerwall 3 stores excess solar energy your home isn't using. Without solar or if needed, it can also charge from the grid often programmed to do so during off-peak hours when electricity is cheaper, and then it discharges that stored energy when beneficial. Powering your home at night instead of buying expensive peak-rate electricity, great for time-of-use plans, or maximizing the use of your own solar power. But here's the key feature for many, and that is backup power. If the grid goes down, the Powerwall 3, with its companion backup gateway, automatically detects the outage and takes over, supplying power to your home circuits almost instantly. It's designed to be seamless, keeping your lights and essential devices running without an eruption. Okay, let's talk numbers. What's the real cost and what financial help is available? This part varies a lot, so listen closely. First up, you've got the gear itself. For your first Powerwall 3 unit, including the necessary gateway and standard installation, you're typically looking at a starting point around $14,000. But what if you need more backup power or want it to last longer during those really extended outages? You've basically got two main ways to scale up your system, and it's important to understand the difference. If you need both more energy storage to last longer and more power output to run more big appliances simultaneously, you can add additional full Powerwall 3 units. Remember that first unit is about $14,000 installed. Adding a second full Powerwall 3 might cost around $11,000 more. Adding a third full unit would be another $11,000 on top of that and so on, up to four total. These give you huge increases in both stored energy and how much power you can draw at once. But again, get a custom quote. Now what if the power output from one Powerwall 3, that 11.5 kilowatts, is actually plenty for your needs, but you just want the system to last longer, you need more energy storage capacity, that's where the expansion packs come in. These are basically extra batteries without the built-in inverter. They add the same 13.5 kilowatt hours of storage each, but they rely on the inverter in your main Powerwall 3 unit to work. The cost structure is different here. The equipment for an expansion pack itself is around $8,900. You still need to pay for installation for that pack, which will be an additional cost, likely less than installing a whole second Powerwall 3, but still extra. So adding an expansion pack increases your storage duration without increasing your power output. It's generally a less expensive way to add kilowatt hours compared to adding a whole second Powerwall 3 unit if you don't need the extra kilowatts of power. You'd need a specific quote to see the final installed price difference between adding a full second unit versus just adding an expansion pack. So you see, you have choices depending on whether you need more power output, just more storage duration, or both. Understanding that difference helps you figure out the best setup for your home and budget. One more thing to budget for, potential home electrical upgrades. Sometimes, depending on your house's age or wiring, you might need to upgrade your main electrical panel. Or if you only want to back up some things, not the whole house, you might pay extra for a critical load panel to be installed. That could add another $1,000 to $3,000, maybe even more, to the job. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Wow, that adds up. 
and it does. But wait, this is where incentives become your absolute best friend and can dramatically change the final number you actually pay. The big one available everywhere in the US is the 30% federal tax credit. That's 30% off the entire system cost, equipment, and installation, coming right back to you as a credit on your federal taxes. On that $14,000 single Powerwall example, that's around $4,200 back. Huge difference. You just need to own the system and owe federal taxes to claim it. Now, besides the federal help, you really need to dig into your local incentives. Seriously, don't skip this. Your state, your county, even your specific electric company might have rebates or programs specifically for batteries. These can save you hundreds, even thousands more, but they change all the time and are totally location specific. We know digging into local details can be tricky, so we've put together deep dives for some major areas. Check the description or our channel playlist to see if your location is covered. For example, if you happen to be in Austin, Texas, we actually have a whole separate video called Austin Solar Incentives that breaks down those specific local details. You can find it on our channel. But regardless, always double check official local sources too. Doing that homework is key. No product is perfect for everyone. Let's weigh the good against the potential downsides. On the pro side, you get energy independence, reducing reliance on the grid. Reliable automatic backup power provides peace of mind. There are potential long-term savings on electricity bills. The integration is seamless, especially with new solar, thanks to the built-in inverter. You get smart features via the Tesla app, like Stormwatch. And the LFP battery chemistry is considered safe and durable. On the con side, the high upfront cost is significant, even with incentives. The 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity per unit has limits. You'll need to manage usage during long outages, especially with power hungry appliances. Installation requires certified professionals and might involve complexities or extra costs, especially if integrating with an older existing solar setup. And remember, it's not compatible with Powerwall 2 systems. Liking this deep dive into home energy? If you want to stay informed about solutions like the Powerwall 3, solar tech, and energy savings, take a second to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. We've always got more content coming. So the Tesla Powerwall 3, it's a powerful integrated home battery solution offering energy storage, backup capabilities, and smart features. While the cost requires careful consideration and incentive research, its ability to provide energy independence, potential savings, and crucial backup power makes it a compelling option for many homeowners, especially those with solar or unreliable grids. Is it right for you? It depends on your energy goals, budget, local incentives, and how much you value backup power. Hopefully this breakdown gives you a much clearer picture to make that decision. What are your biggest questions about home batteries? Let me know down below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.